You may have heard of straw bale gardening, but have you heard of alfalfa bale gardening? The advantage to alfalfa bales is that you don't have to add any additional fertilizer. They already have plenty of nitrogen and phosphorus. It's a great thing for a small space, for a patio. It raises it up off the ground, so if you don't want to bend over to tend to your garden, you can have your bales a little bit higher. And the other great thing about using an alfalfa bale instead of a straw bale is you don't have the risk of persistent herbicides that you may have with straw bales. To build your alfalfa bale garden, turn them on end and add a lot of water until they are thoroughly soaked. If you can get a small thermometer to put in the bale, you'll notice that the temperature will start to get quite hot, maybe up to 120 degrees or so. And that shows you that the bales are starting to compost and the bacteria are breaking down the hay in that bale. Once the temperature starts to cool off again, gets down below 100, that tells you that your bales are ready to use and they're ready to plant into. You can either transplant into the bales with a little bit of potting soil or compost, or you can put a layer of potting soil on the very top um, that gives a good seed bed for your small seeds, like maybe some carrots or beets or greens. Potatoes do really well in bales and any root vegetables. Squash tend to be a little bit too big, but any of the root vegetables will do well or any of your, or your salad greens. For the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Caitlin Youngquist, and you're watching From the Ground Up.